It's about to hit the big screen. It's a new film by my good friend Dante Beteo. It's called The Other Barrio by SF Noir Films. Uh, Dante is with us here on Comunidad del Valle. Welcome back to the show, Dante. Thank you. Dan. Now, you, you uh, were here, uh, what, a year ago? Just uh, kind of two years two ago. Year ago. Oh. To talk about, uh, so it's taken this long. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have, we're going to play the full trailer for you uh, in our next segment, but we have some kind of uh, cutaway footage that we're going to show you throughout the, this interview. But uh, before we get into, into the film, uh, mm -hmm. uh, since it's been two years, and given the evolution of technology, the way you, we talked about this before, the way you and I did news uh, when you first hired me at Telemundo um, 20 years ago, <laughs> um, th that's not the way we do it now, technology-wise. Right. Um, what we, have you seen since you've been able to kind of sit back and, and watch it? As well, a, as we, we, we used to do it with uh, chisel and hammer <laughs> <laughs> on, on, the, on the walls of caves. Remember that time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to forget. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, technology has evolved tremendously, uh, not only in the last 20 years, but in, in the last uh, two years since I was here last. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we did uh, most of the shoot in 2012, in the summer 2012, and we had to go back and uh, do some additional scenes in the summer 2013. And, and technology had already evolved. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? Wait right. a minute. <laughs> now, uh, when you were in news, uh, when we were in news together, mm -hmm. we had deadlines, and our deadlines were you start, you clock in at 9 a.m., and you've got to be on there at 6 o'clock. Your deadline's been two years now. What's it like to transition from uh, kind of uh, into longer deadlines there? Well, it's it's kind of strange in a way, but in a, in an, another way, is is nice <laughs> not to have you know the axe over your head. Not to have a news director uh, <laughs> barking at you. All uh, right. Yes, I am. I mean, uh, yeah. Dante was my news director over at Telemundo. Just uh, uh -huh. for those who don't know. So. Uh, yeah, in a sense, it's, it's nice, but then, you know, it's not having the deadline helps. Mm. Having a deadline, having something shoot for time-wise, it, it also, it always helps to move the project forward at a certain pace. Uh, the, the, the deadline we have now is that we got to finish by uh, in the next couple of weeks because we're submitting, we already submitted to the San Francisco International Film Festival. So you got to see it. And also the LA Film Festival. Mm -hmm and we're submitting to other festivals and they all have deadlines, so we now do have deadlines to meet. Um, so tell us about the film. I mean, uh, it's, it, it, looks, it looks good. I, we're gonna show you the trailer. It looks very, very fascinating. It looks like one of those you wanna pick up your box of popcorn and sit through it, so good. tell I'm, us about I'm, it. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the film is, uh, is about this investigator, a uh, housing authority investigator that goes to a hotel, a residential hotel one day and, and checks off the uh, um, uh, the hotel, yes. I mean, no violations happen, but at the same night, there's a fire, seven people die, and they try, uh, the, the, the city tries to uh, ask him politely to kind of tweak the, his, his report. Mm -hmm. He refuses, and so he starts looking into why, what happened, and, uh, and, and he finds a lot of corruption, a lot of kickbacks, uh, and then people that are after him, and it evolves into to this, uh, this, uh, this drama and this uh, uh, story that uh, I'm trying to finish in the next <laughs> couple of weeks. Was uh, it a coup to get uh, Ricardo Montoya to, to be uh, your protagonist? Oh, Richard Montoya, absolutely. I mean, he's, he's a great guy. He's, uh, he's uh, local. Uh, he's very entwined with, uh, with the Hispanic community in, in the Bay Area. So it, it was quite a coup to have him on the, on the, on the film, right? Uh, I mean, and he's not the only one. I mean, you have a, you have a nice cast to, to go along with. Uh, sure. We have uh, Veronica Valencia as the leading lady. Then we have Pearl Wong. We have uh, uh, Jeff um, Doyle. Uh, great British actor and, and other, other actors, uh, most of them all local. Uh, so we try to, the story is local, the filmmakers are local, uh, the, the, the cast is mostly local, so we try to, we try to keep it within, within the region. Are you enjoying this or is this something, uh, should we expect to see more from you? Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, this is what I've always wanted to do uh -huh. after, after news. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it because I'm not only what you mentioned about the deadlines and the pressure is different, but it is uh, the creativity for me is, is, is tremendous because, uh, I mean, there's the music, there's the, the story itself, there's the editing, there's the, the camera work, the lighting, the mood, 
And, and since everything is fiction, you don't have to ask for permission or double check your sources. <laughs> <laughs> you just write away and you know, if it works, it, it, it works. All right. Well, it's uh, called uh, The Other Body, and your company is SF Nor Films? Or SF Nor Films. Right. All right. Uh, this, uh, there's the information on your screen. Log on to the website, dantebeteo.com, and uh, you can, can I see the trailer on that website? Uh, yes, well, that's absolutely. Right. That's mm -hmm. where, yeah, okay. And uh, there's, but there's any final thoughts, Dante, before we uh, come back and, and show the clip? Well, well, my final thoughts are, you know, I hope people walk away with a sense of, uh, of uh, inspiration after watching the film and also a sense of uh, introspect, so, so they look in, in, in within themselves and, and gauge what's important in life and what's not. Uh, life is not infinite, it has a start and an end, so we have to prioritize things in life and I hope people walk out with that sense. Um, after watching the other barrio, and uh, and and the, my other thought is that I'll continue to make films, so I hope I, I inspire people and I, I help them uh, to live better lives. Very good. All right, we'll show you the clip uh, after these messages, messages when we continue. Stay with us. In a city run by money. Jesus Christ. Are, are you with the police now? What, what's going on? One man fights fire with fire for justice and a better way. They're not my dead, Mr. Choi. What did you see that night? Mexican party bus in the mission. <laughs> Didn't have to die, sir. <laughs> Love of Christ. What's that like, Dante? I mean, your name are, is all over the credits there. Um, I mean, this is Hollywood. This is so, uh, not that I'm surprised, I'm very impressed with the quality. Uh, oh, well, thank you very much. Your thoughts on uh, the end product? As, uh, oh, I'm very pleased. Mm -hmm. Absolutely very pleased. I'm, uh, well, the reason my name is there so many times is because I'm doing a lot of things. <laughs> One of which is editing, and uh, I'm doing the, 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 final, the final edit at, uh, at the moment. And like I said, we have a, a deadline within a couple of weeks, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And when you're and shooting scenes three or four times, does that get frustrating after a while because you think you have it, but not quite the way you want it? Um, I mean, well, yeah, it is a little bit frustrating, but, uh, but at the same time, you know that you know, you're trying to do it better or make it better, so it's, it's also encouraging. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Uh -huh. but, uh, they say that you make a film three times. First when you write it, then when you shoot it, and then when you edit it, uh -huh. and it's so true. I mean, so a year ago, uh, were you scratching your head saying... Two years ago. <laughs> but, but a year ago, were oh, you yeah. saying, what was I thinking? Because you're halfway through and it's still... Uh, or were you excited just all the way through? Well, I knew it was a long process. I knew it was a long process. And there was, uh, there's been some uh, fundraising in between also mm -hmm. and, uh, and other things that we had to deal with outside of production. Uh, so that's why it's taking two years. But I was... Uh, 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 two years was my timeline anyways. Okay. So it's not kind of, uh, it, it hasn't come as a surprise. So th uh, theaters, or are we looking at f film festivals here with this? Well, we're looking at fin film festivals first, and, and hopefully uh, it'll get picked up, and uh, we'll see it in theaters soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, let's show you the information once again. It's uh, DanteBeteo.com. It's called The Other Barrio. And why The Other Barrio, Dante? Why the title? Well, The Other Barrio is this, the, the film is based on a short story written by San Francisco uh, poet laureate uh, Alejandro Murgia. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a short story called The Other Barrio. So I, I ran into it uh, in, in, in a book called SF Noir, San Francisco Noir. There you go. So that's where this story comes from. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. All right. Dante Beteo with uh, The Other Barrio here on Comunidad Vallenar.